My name is Mike Keg. I'm from Vancouver, BC, and I went to the University of British Columbia. My name is Megan Campbell. I'm from Waterloo, Ontario. My name is Owen Scott. I'm from Ottawa. Hi, my name is Mike Lawson. I'm the co-president of the U of T chapter of Engineers Without Borders. In Malawi, EWB is contributing to the creation of long-term access to clean water. Although Malawi has many water points, as many as 35% of them are broken. To improve access to clean water, our volunteers have developed a tool to capture where broken water points are located. I'm working with Engineers Without Borders to make sure that the water points in Malawi stay functional. Uh, over the last six years, there's been a really big focus on GPS mapping for water infrastructure. But unfortunately, in Malawi, it's really not working. Right now, I'm lucky that I'm getting to actually work on this particular problem, on, um, on helping to design a more user-appropriate solution for water point monitoring in, in Malawi. Now that we're able to identify where broken wells are located, we are working to find innovative ways to increase their functionality. This means investing in leaders at the district government to help them more effectively respond with long-term maintenance strategies. I spent some time in villages trying to understand the complexities of village hierarchy, uh, the different gender roles played, and trying to really identify who are the natural leaders in the community at a village level. I believe that people and their ideas and the leadership that's within people have the potential to change the world. And I think that the change in one person's mindset and actions can have a ripple effect on the rest of society. I think the work that EWB is doing in Malawi on water point functionality is really exciting. Instead of taking the traditional NGO approach in making more water supply, we are taking a step back and actually looking at the monitoring and evaluation side of things. Look at what is there. EWB has actually helped us, the members of staff that have come from EWB have actually been in the forefront trying to look at what's there already, can we view what we already have. But the whole aspect of learning, drawing key lessons out of what we're doing has been, uh, to me I would say I would strongly attribute that to uh, the work that I have done with uh, the uh, volunteers from EWB. I'm building a world of opportunity by working with Malawian government to develop appropriate water point monitoring systems. I'm building a world of opportunity by helping Malawians to develop systems to repair the 30% of water points that aren't functioning in Malawi. You can create a world of opportunity by supporting our work to provide water access in rural Malawi.